Welcome to the rap game. Money, fame, girls, jewelry, Instagram, cars. This is a long list. Beef, Illuminati, and a lot of weird people with different color hair. Today I'll be breaking into that industry and becoming the best rapper in the game. Nowadays there's a lot of new rappers, they call it the new wave and I actually enjoy the music but there's literally a new guy every week. A lot of people have just been speculating this but there's now actual evidence out that the US government has opened a dimensional portal to try and make contact with alien life but instead it started spawning new rappers. As you guys know I'm also a scientist so I tried to recreate the experiment and here are my results. Day 300, August 31st 2018, 3 o'clock. Experiment zero. Everybody ready? Trey Wayne, these niggas said it hurt! It was unbelievable. The most beautiful words I've ever heard in my life. That's it. There and then I made up my mind. I must get on this guy's level. So I approached the most knowledgeable friend on the planet. Google. Google didn't know, so he just redirected me to his retarded cousin, Wiki Howe. And just as I thought, Wiki how was waffling hard. Make sure your song is personal and real. Make sure your song is Make personal and like real. Personal. Sorry Wiki how I don't want to wrap up my depression and my insecurities. Clearly Wiki Schmuck was trying to set me up for failure so I decided to make my own plan on how to become a professional rapper. Step 1. Appearance. Your look really matters because you gotta give people something crazy to click on before you disappoint them with your music. So I made my way to the Gucci and Louis store I uh, saw the prices and um, almost fell into deep cardiac arrest. This is the type of stuff rappers usually cut from their Instagram post. The bit where they actually buy stuff. Long story short, I settled with H&M. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you three outfits. Outfit number one. This one here is not major drip, but saucy enough to get you in. Outfit number two. Yeah, yeah, yeah let's just not talk about this one. And outfit number three. Why do you need Gucci and Louis? when you can get yourself some Fuji. Basically just dress really pricey, carry a lot of cash, so when you get to the till you can say stuff like Can I buy cash or card? Cash, cash, cash. Oh, it's cash money. To sound even more like the you already are. So what else? What else do rappers have in common nowadays? Dreads. 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 Wait, 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 wait. I'm not actually gonna get dreads, but I'll do the next best thing. Braids. As I was getting it done, I was already starting to feel the clout rise in me. I could see the show money and taste the Instagram followers going up. Appearance complete. This is how I looked before and look at me now. Too much drip. Now that I look like a rapper, let's move on to the next step. Alright, the next step is music. So meet Reggie, a producer that's gonna help me make the song that's gonna hit the charts. The first thing we started doing is working on a beat. Once we were happy with that and we secured the fire, I started to write some lyrics. We put it all together and um, here is a sneak peek. playing way too much, I sound like Ice JJ Fish there. But we end up staying in the studio for almost a whole night and we made a banger song. Here's the real preview. Whoa, I can't even stress it, lately I've been restless Running through these checks, keep blowing all these bags, yeah I left her in the past, yeah. I know that she mad, yeah I know that she mad, yeah, yeah. No more, no more, no more. Someone called a fire brigade because this MP3 track is on fire. Now that I've got the music, it's time for step three. Clout. We need an army of people who love me, appreciate me. What? Okay, not worship, all right? Just, just love me. I started posting on SoundCloud and YouTube to up my clout, then decided, why not make a CD and try to sell it? So that was the plan. So I met up with this absolute schmuck who pre-made the artwork for the cover. I bought loads of unknown cheap music so I can throw away the outdated content and fill it with new life. Only person that I knew from there was the GOAT Wayne. I literally spent three pounds more just so I can say that. My life is sad. <laughs> Anyways, after some simple DIYB, in other words, Lawai just doing everything and me watching, we managed to turn this 
into the biggest album of all time. Yo, this actually came out pretty sick and I knew that at least one person would buy this album. All right guys, we got the tape done, this looks sick. Now time to go to Central and see if we can sell it, let's go. When I got to Central London, things started to go downhill. No one wanted to look at my tape. This man doesn't even know I'm gonna be a superstar. He's just gonna watch me pick up my awards on TV. For real though, <laughs> he was a nice guy. He wished me luck and also said, make sure you subscribe to AJ, smash 5,000 likes because AJ worked very hard on this video. Leave a comment about the song and turn on notifications so you never miss a video. He really said that. What a nice guy. Anyways, I didn't have any luck with the other guys too. And when things couldn't get worse, they did. Yo bro, you got a minute? Literally, I've got this mixtape, right? It's a banging mixtape, mixtape of the year. So I only got one song, but that song's a banger. Do you want to like, check it out or something? How dare you break my mixtape? Do you know how much work went into that? If that was an opportunity of a lifetime, would you throw it away like that? If that was your mum's love, would you throw it away like that? So why would you throw it away like that? I was getting way too emotional. I felt like the only way a person would accept my mixtape is if they were unconscious. And that gave me an idea. She'll wake up to the sound of heavy 808 beats, my beautiful melodies, and it will change her life forever. For real though, as happy as I look here, I just wasn't. I wanted someone to appreciate my tape and buy it, so I kept roaming the streets of London until I came across a young man who was willing to give me a chance. Sick man. <laughs> you made this? Yeah. Like it. <laughs> You're mad. <laughs> it's amazing. I haven't jammed hard a song like this in a while. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's liking it, he's liking it. Look at how much he's enjoying my song. This should teach everyone who declined me not to judge a book by its cover. He ended up listening to the whole song, and here is what he had to say. That was amazing. That was so great. <laughs> you liked it? Yo, everybody needs to get this. It's amazing, man. It's only one track. Only one track. I think you should get the whole thing. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Respect. Thank you so much. There you go. Amazing, he said. One step closer to becoming the best rapper in the game. Oh, and he even paid £15 for the tape. Even I was gobsmacked about that. What a legend. Good day, thanks. Easy day's money. There we go. Step three is done. Now the final step to becoming a professional rapper is... Success. This is where your song blows up and people finally stop and respect on your name. All those late nights in the studio and the dodgy songs you were making are finally getting the recognition they didn't deserve. For me, plays started to go up. YouTubers started reacting to my song. Bilou, what's the? Huh? Bilou, stop, stop, stop playing with me, man. Don't, stop, no, stop. don't play with me. Stop. What the? Did you see that? I done some interviews. Hey, listen, it's a, it's a pleasure, bro. It's a pleasure. Thank you very much for having me on here. I used to dream about coming on here, so it's a pleasure. <laughs> the ops probably hating right now. I, re I really came from like where it's rough. Like I really came from the girl. Like shootings, drugs, like just crime in general. Yeah, my mum used to work. Like it was really hard for her. She used to work like a million jobs. Like she used to actually work for like Lidl, uh, Sainsbury's, Tesco. For, you know, even Texaco. You know the petrol one. Yeah, she worked for that as well. And they called her Supermarket Marge. Yeah, because she was at every single supermarket. You know, I had to help out my mum as well, you know what I'm saying? I had to go out and, you know, sell the white teeny, white tatty, and the greeny, the grinetti. So, it's hard, but I had to make a way. Uh, the inspiration for the song, uh, yeah, basically this girl broke up with me, so I killed her whole family. I went on the biggest world tour. Yo, what country are we in today? <laughs> right now we're in Denmark. Hey, Denmark. Hey, hello, Denmark. Danish Don's here. Look, I just came in my tour bus right now. Last week we were in Mexico, Poland, Bermuda Triangle, and hell. Yeah? Don't look at this part over here. Huh? If you have something you've never... Wait, yeah. English, okay? If you want something you've never had, you have to do something you've never done. This is my first time making a proper tongue and life changed. <laughs> hey, let's go to hell. And finally, I became a professional That's rapper. It. Whoa, I can't even stress it. Lately I've been restless. Running through these checks, keep blowing all these bags. Yeah, I left her in the past. And I know that she mad, yeah. I know that she mad, yeah. Three, two, one, go. Oh my god. <laughs>